Hello and welcome to Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we're going to do the upper floors of the hall, uh, House of Thule. And uh, before that, I wanted to kind of show uh, what I've changed. So uh, you can see here, my I got more buttons down here, but I've uh, gone, on, gone ahead and uh, switched these guys to a single computer instead of uh, true boxing them so I could kind of show them off a little bit more. So like uh, this is the bard, right? I could show her gear, bags, and all that stuff now. And uh, I can show the shaman how I have them set up and like how their macros work, right? Like uh, 11 is tiger. And uh, just to make things, explaining things a lot easier and showing them easier without uh, having to do anything, uh, anything extra. So so that's kind of where we're at. I got tracking here. This is a thing. <laughs> a bunch of. I'm in the lower uh, lower uh, house of Thor right now, so there's lots of names up. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the gibbering haunt. Is that the one we need? Is that the one? No, we need a dream slayer. Yeah, bard tracking is uh, phenomenal. Yeah, so he's not up. But uh, that's kind of, you know, how I've changed it all up, so, so it works. And then I wanted to show this, because I don't think I've ever showed this before, right? So I have this button called Group, right? It invites Ketka, invites Nil, sets me as the assist. All right, I hit that twice. I'm already set as assist. I should set it up here to make the uh, the tank the tank, but uh, <laughs> too lazy. But on the other characters, I have a follow button. This says invite to Wani. Now you're going to be like, what? So if I disband and I disband everybody, right? It's just something I, f I figured out and I don't, I haven't seen it anywhere else. So if I go group, right? That invites everybody. And then if I hit my follow button, which is uh, alt F for IS boxer, they should all join the group because they're all when you do the invite towards someone who invited you it joins the groups i don't know that's i i wish i would have known about that sooner but uh yeah that's uh saves so much time of having to click especially when now like when i start six boxing some characters you know it's gonna be uh save a lot of time uh, but let's go ahead and get on with the episode here. So we're at the lower uh, floors, right? You have to go to the upper floors to get out of here. So let's do that. Uh, let me get that pet back on follow. And let's see. I, I've done some tweaking, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be more tweaking that's going to be needed throughout all of this. Uh, I, I just spent a little bit of time uh, messing around trying to get them all set up. But uh, it should be fundamentally work and you can kind of see they're doing more damage because I set up different macros <laughs> I literally didn't like set up the bar to do much up until uh, up until now now she's doing uh, both hello and all that stuff and it's just doing massive amounts of damage and things are just dying so much faster uh, I also got my uh, Knight of Shadow mount, so now I have 91,000 hit points, uh, which is kind of crazy, but I'll show this mount real quick, because it is, uh, it's a, it's a sexy mount. I don't know what to tell anybody, but this mount is just glorious in every form. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I got that since I bought Knight of Shadows for all of my accounts. Got that for everybody, so that is nice. All right, let's go ahead and make our way up here. We just go up the stairs to this little thing right here and click it. There we go. And then I gotta go on to each one and click it. And, uh, all right, we are in the upper floors. Now, if we zoom out here on the map here, let's kind of make it a little bit more uh, usable, <laughs> if you will. Uh, this is, it's, it's, I honestly don't think it's a big zone. Uh, it looks big, but it doesn't feel big. There's lots of rooms and stuff. It's like a traditional roguelike dungeon almost, if you think about it like that. But if you look around here, like there's names in a lot of different places. I'm trying to see which one looks better. I'm going to go with three wall maps for this. Uh, oh gosh, that 
doesn't size right, but you can kind of see like uh, from here, this is a tier three zone, I believe. And uh, you can go to Moral's Castle, uh, Mirigel's Nightmare, Alkabar's Nightmare, and Fear itself. So uh, these ones, these three down here are uh, tier, uh, uh, tier two, three and more else castles tier four along with the uh, zone after that if i'm not mistaken but uh i could be wrong but uh just, just means they're harder mobs right they go from like 90 to 92 or three so all right so if you go on the other side uh all right actually i think there's a statue right here you can click i just realized that that statue over there will send you to the other side of the zone and there's more stuff over there and you can go to those zones and stuff like that so uh i'm guessing this is going to be more than one episode because we're going to go through everything and uh kind of just look around and see how it goes and get some level in going here see how this works out for us uh i'm honestly gonna be kind of, i don't know uh i was messing around in the fear rot and i'm like insta killing stuff almost with uh kind of how this is set up so we're gonna see how it goes with uh, these guys but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure how how successful we're gonna be right away get a few more buffs going here there we go all right so let's go ahead and go through now we want to go through this door yeah, that's the one we're gonna want. We're gonna go south first, down uh, this way. So there's Nightfang, or is it Earth some Earthmaster, Spirit Crawler, or Spike Crawler? Those are where the names are gonna go to go for. And let's go ahead and we're tracking. So we can kind of see, right? So the Bard is level 88. So a lot of the stuff is yellow to her. Uh, looks like something named Rodicus is up. Rodicus is that a named? I haven't spent much time here, so I don't think so. Maybe it's just a quest NPC, but uh, we'll, let's just go through it, kind of go and see how it goes for us. All right, you guys, following me. Tank is not the main tank. <laughs> main tank. There we go. So let's go here. All right, we got a ghostly vision. Let's go ahead and pull that. Hopefully that wasn't aggressive. All right, these have a little bit more hit points. I've also made the shaman uh, melee now. She got at uh, some point. Go to her real quick. Uh, at some point she got a aug that is a when you cast spells, it has a chance to cast damage. Or every, it does this sympathetic burst, right? It'll he, uh, heal you each time you cast a damaging spell, right? And it'll cast it on other people and whatnot. So it's kind of nice. So she can cast and melee and get that benefit. So we're going to kind of just go through here. Um, it's a straight shot. So just kind of overly explaining that but uh there we go again oh geez look at all those snakes in there that does not look fun uh where is my bard i lost him come on guys i've noticed that the auto follow is not working as well as it used to so this is a uh i was a level 90 mob what are these con Alright, one. Well, he's ready. Oh, they're level 40, so. That's fun. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. I'm not too concerned. They're level 40. As you can see, how fast they're dying. I thought they were gonna be higher level there for a second. Alright. So, everybody's mailing. Uh, I got the pet a little bit more active now. I have, uh, I have, uh, t 
Tiger on a little bit quicker of a uh, turnaround now, so I can always keep that up easier without having to worry about it. And uh, I, I feel like this is going to be so much better going forward with these characters anyway. Oh, really? Oh, man, I got to jump everybody up. All right, let's just move you up a little bit and jump. So it's so much faster to move them now. <laughs> like, I don't know how that... Uh, th this all came about from that well episode uh, where uh, I think it was last episode actually. Oh, that's a trap dreamer. Uh, in the well, uh, it's hard to navigate certain spots because I had to go to each computer. So uh, this is just gonna hopefully work better. And I do have snare or not snare, uh, slow setup. I will be probably slowing this stuff depending on how bad the tank is getting killed but uh you know we are fighting mobs at our higher level now these are uh level 90 uh this one isn't but the other, this one's 88 the other last few were uh level 90 so we're gonna spend some time here in this zone hopefully get these guys uh, a little bit higher level um how close are they they are 53 percent into 88 and uh i am almost 91 so and I so I was like I was I'm planning out the episodes right I in my uh, channel update video I uh, I kind of go over how I, I plan everything out I was trying to figure out where I, where I want to go right like all the zones I want to hit and all the things I want to do and I was look I was like you know what I'm gonna do the group missions for uh, oh this is not fun or uh, House of Thule. All right, uh, let's mez these. So AOE mez. Go. That should. Box. No. Didn't really do anything at all, I don't think. All right, four. So. Really? Try again. Not. 100% sure what happened to her. Is she not, uh... Oh, they're yellow to her, that's why. Never mind. I don't think she can mez yellow yet. So that's level 89. Level 90 for single target, and... Doesn't say for uh, for that one, but I don't think a level uh, 85 spell is going to be able to cut it there. So, note to self, don't AOE mez these, because that's not going to work. Alright, Trap Dreamer is not what I wanted. I want this one. But yeah, so I was looking at the, uh, the trying to schedule everything out, right? And I, you know, look at all the zones. So I marked all the zones out for this expansion I want to go to. And I was like, I'll do the group missions after I do all the zones, right? Easy. Easy wins right there. And then I, I realized to do the group missions, you have to do all the solo tasks for each of the zones. And uh, yeah, so I won't be doing the group missions. I might do the one that you can do without uh, doing the group missions, but uh, other than that, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do all the... Uh, I'm not going to do all the progression for uh, House of Thule with these guys. We're just, we're focused on leveling, and so that's kind of what we're going to do. Um, there's a few spots we're going to go try after we're House of, done with House of Thule, right? Uh, one spot I would like to go try is, uh, is the Gribbles. Uh, see how well I can do those with these three. Uh, kind of knock that out at least once a day while doing all the zones and try to just hit what we can because I I really am focused on just getting to the next like 120 get them 120 uh, and then I can work on you know getting them geared and stuff and working back on like Sun's Duel and the other series until I get them the 120 and then once I get everybody 120 I should have a pool of characters that I can do to uh, start doing all the group missions and all the cool stuff. 
at 120 that uh is fun okay that looks like i have to drain them you gotta be careful in this hallway i think i think that fire burns i don't know the, the mobs are definitely higher level for sure uh, these guys are getting 0.3 percent per you're not singing a song there you go and I have that macro to uh, like shift numpad four, so I've got a lot of like I got three bars here. It's kind of where I'm. I have all the macros. So, and uh, if anybody wants me to go into de detail on how I have anything set up, let me know. I am uh, still planning on releasing a true boxing video, but uh, my son wanted some of my monitors and I had like eight monitors in my office and I'm like yeah you can have uh, have two so I'm dismantling my true box setup if you will because I'm I'm just not going to be doing that as much anymore I won't probably be doing the new uh that's new TLP unless it's you know not true box from the start I don't I really I just don't have the energy to do another hardcore thing like that so i don't know if that'll even be a thing but uh i'm i'm really focused on just getting all my characters to 120 before the level cap increases oh uh let's see here that is dumb pad seven she should be able to mess that one she should be able to mess that one I'm pad seven. <laughs> what are you doing over here, Park? I'm pad seven. All right, so one of them's messed. Oh, is this one? Sweet, I think it worked. Oh, we got another one. I'm pad seven. So there we go, and see how it's working. And then shift I'm bad four. I'm bad two. And she's back in the game fighting. Perfect. Oh man, that worked out well for me. It really worked out well. Gotta shift her around. Alright. Uh so spoiler. Uh there's the body of Kazakhul. <laughs> uh don't just ignore that. When we get to the lore videos and we're doing it all with, uh, uh, the, uh, Sons of Thule, it'll make more sense. All right, that one's mezzed. Oh, I love it. I'm loving this. Who needs, who needs special stuff when we just got this? Simple, simple stuff. Back to four. And I really need like a, I probably need another macro to get her to attack sooner. All right, so where are we at here? Uh, we got a little bit further to go <laughs> on this wing. And then, uh, oh. All right, this one's level 90. Perfect. Now, I want to check something real quick while we're fighting this. Tiny companion. There we go. I was getting, I was getting annoyed at my uh, pet being so large. So I had to uh, take care of that. Alright, there is a scorpion over there. I can barely see it because this vine is in the way. But uh, let's see if we can get close enough to it. Uh, no. Go, I'm not scaring anybody, obviously. And I did realize I was not using uh, Group Pack Wolf for uh, a while. I thought I had, had it on, but uh, since I can't I have the illusions blocked, because I don't like werewolf form, it looks a little weird to me. The, the new model, anyway, it just doesn't feel feel right so I have that blocked um let's see here's mez that one because it's a level 90 go ahead and do 
that. Is that working out for us? I don't know if that worked or not, but uh, I think everybody's happy now. Barda is mailing. Perfect. All right. Let's go through here. Oh, jeez. Is that a named? Oh, no. It's a quest mob. There's another one in here that is a named, though. Come on. Over there, I think. Oh, there's two. All right. All right. Don't need to mess it now. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> they die faster than I'm expecting. Honestly. Uh, we have a a good good DPS. I think. Oh. There we go. I just hit 91. What does that give me? Let's go up here. I want to check real quick. Let's uh, see here. Improved. I ignore all the improved. So if it says you've improved, that just means it went up a rank, right? So it doesn't really matter too much in most things. Okay, we got focusing of birth axe. Focusing of birth axe. What the heck is that? Focus... Focusing. Is that what it said? Focusing of birth racks. There it is right there. So this passive ability, awesome. Allows you to channel the tranquility of the Grandmaster birth racks, which increases the base damage of your kick, round kick, flying kick, eagle strike, Dragon Punch or Tail Rake by 2%. So we just gained 2% damage for doing nothing. Perfect. All right. Improved Destructive Force. You've improved. Oh, yeah. So improved, you gain the ability Pressure Points. This passive ability increases the accuracy of your attacks by 150. Nice. So we'll miss less, and everything else looks improved. Perfect. There we go. All right, that's nice. So two percent extra damage. Uh, we, and that should put us over the threshold, right? So we're now on like a different, different expansions kind of, you no know, damage kind of thing. So we should see, should be seeing better damage unless. This is all scrolled out the wrong way, so let's see if we can get that down to... Yeah. We'll have to do some parsing at some point. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Take the diamond, at least. Come on. Alright, so is there anything else here? There is another room. Somewhere over here. There's a door. <laughs> it's so hard to see. Wow. If you didn't have the map, you wouldn't see it probably. Alright, we got a funnel web spider. I keep reaching for the other mouse to uh, click things. Still not used to that yet. Why am I not attacking? Am I too close? There we go. Get some heals going, Kedka. You're gonna take some damage. Kedka, heal yourself. Silly. Silly shaman. I'm hitting your button, but you're not doing it. <laughs> All right, and then we, we're going to end up with another room down here. Uh, 
and the bard got stuck, so let's move her. And she stopped singing. I find they stop singing if you do certain activated abilities, but sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know, it's just totally random. There we go, and... Oh, jeez. Uh, that's not good. Uh... I'm bad eight. <laughs> Nine. I think they all got mad as jeez. That was crazy. Oh, and I finished the task stage. Cause I, I guess I came here when uh, I did this, uh... When I did this originally, so... Knows what that task stage was. Alright. An AoE Mez really helped out, I think. I probably could have done the AoE slow, too. Alright, so we're going to Swift Tail, we're going to Respite, and we're going to Five Breaths. And then over here on the uh, bard, we're going to do a rallying call. Which uh, should have boosted her stamina regen. Yeah, rallying call right there. That uh, increases mana and endurance regeneration by 12 points, so... Just kind of let that uh, get us going. I guess it's not going to go past 25%. <laughs> Jeez. That sucks. All right. So that is this whole path here. Uh, and we're like, uh, we're kind of like where I want to stop for this one. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go do the next one next episode. So this is a nice little place to call it to. It's like a, they call it a padded room. So. <laughs> There's a theme in this expansion for sure, and uh, this is definitely it. But uh, yeah, so that is the uh, that is the first section of the upper floors of the House of Thule. Thank you very much for watching, and have a fantastic day.